Hey, this is your girl Desiree, and welcome back to the Players Club. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks. Virginia Hill was born on August 26, 1916 in Lipscomb, Alabama. By the time she was eight, she moved to Marietta, Georgia with her mother and siblings after her parents separated. She attended Roberts Grammar School where she completed eighth grade, then dropped out. In November 1931, when she was 15, she married 16-year-old George Randell. In 1933, Hill left Georgia for Chicago with Randell, hoping to enter the pornography business. Once in Chicago, she separated from Randell, divorcing him the following year. She found a job as a waitress at the mob-run San Carlo Italian Village exhibit during the 1933 Century of Progress Chicago's World Fair and supplemented her income as a prostitute. She came to the attention of a wealthy bookmaker and gambler, Joseph Epstein, who was said to have become her financial advisor and possibly lover, although Epstein was reputed to be gay. Ultimately, she entered into the Chicago Outfit Crime Organization. In addition to allegedly acting as a mistress to members of the Chicago mob, she served as a courier to pass messages between mobsters. One contemporary commentator described her as, more than just another set of curves, she had a good memory, a considerable flair for hole-in-the-corner diplomacy to allay the suspicions of trigger-happy killers and a dual personality, close-lipped about essentials, and able to chatter freely and apparently foolishly about inconsequentials. Even law enforcement eventually concluded that she was a central clearinghouse for intelligence on organized crime and enjoyed an independent power base within the mafia. Eventually, Hill became associated with Charles Fischetti, a cousin and bodyguard of Al Capone. It was Fischetti who sent her to New York to keep tabs on Luciano family capo Joe Adonis, which she did by becoming his lover. She told people that she was a Southern Belle Society girl who had gone through four rich husbands, all divorced or dead, and that she had received one million dollars each from their estates. But authentic socialites saw through the ruse. She built up an entourage of hangers-on and Latin gigolos hanging out on Broadway, and frequently picked up the check. While in New York, she was introduced to another Luciano associate, Bugsy Siegel, and they ended up in a hotel together that night. Later, Siegel's and Hill's separate life paths brought them both to Hollywood, and they began a torrid affair. There were rumors that she and Siegel were secretly married in Mexico after Siegel divorced his wife, Esta, in 1946, but there has not been any evidence to prove the theory. Flamingo founder Billy Wilkerson named the Flamingo long before Benjamin Siegel got involved. Urban legend has it wrong that Siegel named the Flamingo Las Vegas Resort after Hill, who liked to gamble and whose nickname was supposedly Flamingo, a moniker that Siegel was said to have given her, referring to her long, thin legs. But others have said that she was in fact short and somewhat matronly in form. Another story about the origin of the nickname said that after a few drinks, her face would flush a flamingo-like pink However, organized crime king Lucky Luciano wrote in his memoir that Siegel once owned an interest in the Hialeah Park racetrack and viewed the local flamingo population as a good omen. The flamingo name was given to the project at its inception by original resort financier Billy Wilkerson, four days before Siegel was assassinated at the home he leased for her in California. She took an unscheduled flight to Paris, France giving rise to speculation that she was warned of Siegel's impending murder. In 1950, she married Hans Hauser, an Austrian skier and head of the Sun Valley Idaho Ski School, later giving birth to their only child, Peter Hauser. In 1951, she was subpoenaed to testify before the hearings, where she denied having any knowledge of organized crime despite being described by Time magazine in March of that year as the queen of the gangster's moles. After Hill was indicted for income tax evasion in 1954, she moved to Europe, where she lived for the rest of her life with her son. Hill committed suicide by an overdose of sleeping pills in Koppel near Salzburg, Austria, on March 24, 1966, at the age of 49. She is buried in Agen Cemetery in Salzburg. According to Andy Edmonds' biography, Bugsy's Baby, The Secret Life of Mob Queen Virginia Hill, her death was suspicious despite it being an apparent suicide.
Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.